hello guys welcome back to another short video that is Michaelis Menten constant I have just recorded a video the, the title was enzyme kinetics effect of substrate conservation that was very very detailed video lecture I thought I mentioned the Michaelis constant in that video lecture but no this is a special uh, it need a special uh, video lecture it need another special time that's why i'm going to record the idea of michaelis constant in this video lecture but try to go back and get this enzyme kinetics video lecture by typing in the youtube okay in michaelis menten uh, constant this constant was actually devised by two scientists one was Michaelis second was Menton one is male and female actually is not the name of single person there are two scientists actually one is male and there is female both died now not now in around 1960s what is Michaelis Menton uh, constant it is a term that is related with the enzyme kinetics that is why I, I told I told you to please go and watch this video lecture still if you don't want to go there you will get what is Michaelis Menten constant the Michaelis Menten constant km can be defined in three ways can be defined in three ways number one mathematically number one mathematically you just wait mathematically it can be defined in a video lecture where we will derive the Michaelis Menten equation in that derivation I will tell you what is KM mathematically definition number one but not now definition number two KM is KM is the amount of substrate I will explain just don't worry the amount of substrate at which rate of enzyme is half of the maximum half of the maximum rate okay this is second definition this, I would like to share this definition with you people today if you draw a graph between the substrate concentration on x-axis and the rate of enzyme on y-axis some of the students may not know what is rate so please go to that video I have explained very well what is mean by rate rate means how many substrate molecules are catalyzed in one second or in one minute suppose you are zero substrate then you have one substrate two substrate three four five six seven eight nine ten substrate you are increasing the substrate and your uh, your rate will uh, is also increasing from one to two to three to, to four to ten let's suppose this is your maximum rate maximum rate suppose you are going to find what is the half of the maximum rate your maximum rate is 10 your maximum rate is 10 what is the half of this 1 upon 2 the answer is what 5 so check where 5 is 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 will be here 5 will come here what is this the rate of the reaction at half of the maximum the maximum this is called this is called came no at this stage at this stage whatever substrate concentration you have this substrate concentration will be called the km let's suppose 0 1 2 3 so 3 substrate is your km km is actually the substrate concentration you can use the substrate concentration 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which substrate concentration will be called km this is very important to know 
which substrate concentration will be called Km? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8, at 9. That substrate concentration at which the speed is half of the maximum. Maximum is 10, so half of 10 is 5. So at 5, the substrate concentration will be called Km. Another example. Let's suppose you have another reaction. You have another reaction. And this is the maximum rate is 100. So half of this maximum rate will be 50. So 50 will be here. This will this will shows the 50 rate of 50. And now I am going to increase the rate of reaction from uh, the substrate from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 and, and then and like this. Now I I am going to touch this line, this point here. Okay it is intersecting the curve here at that point so this point represents half of the maximum speed this point represents half of the maximum speed you just drag it down and it will be between 5 and 6.5 5.5 so this 5.5 is your substrate concentration this 5.5 is what is your km different enzyme have different km for the first enzyme that we discussed the km was around 3 but here this is another enzyme and this is another reaction where the km is 5.5 why 500 because at the concentration of 5.5 the rate of reaction is half of the maximum Half of the maximum is 50, so at the 50 rate, the substrate concentration is 5.5, so 5.5 is your Km. In this way, you can uh, go further and further to trace in different other reactions. I hope you got this Km. What is the idea? What is the role of this Km? Km tell us. A1, the very first thing Km is the fingerprint, just like your fingerprint is your identity. Km is the identity of many other, many enzymes. Every enzyme you take, whether you take uh, oxidases, peroxidases, catalases, right? Okay, all of these enzymes have what? They have their Km. So Km, Michaelis constant is actually fingerprint of enzyme means the identity of enzyme the first thing second second thing that came give us with the help of km we can trace any enzyme maximum speed maximum efficacy maximum speed means you have an enzyme and you want to check that the enzyme has maximum uh, what what is the maximum speed of the enzyme km will tell you so this is another very good idea of km second third sorry third third thing what km tell us the affinity between the enzyme and the substrate you know enzyme combined with substrate to form enzyme substrate complex whether sometime a substrate have a good affinity with the enzyme or sometimes the substrate have a weak affinity with enzyme in all these cases we must find so who will tell us the km will tell us if the km is very high you know, you can get the Km of any reaction. You can get the Km of any enzyme. If the Km is very high, remember, the affinity of substrate with enzyme is less. If the Km, if the Km is less, the affinity, affinity will be high. 
and vice versa so this was the this video lecture was about the Michaelis maintained constant it has three definition actually in reality two one is the mathematical that I will tell you in the topic of derivation of our Michaelis Menten equation derivation of Michaelis Menten equation in that equation the second definition was discussed on the whiteboard that what is mean by KM and what is the the importance of KM I already told you that there are three importance of KM KM tell us at which substrate concentration the speed is half of the maximum KM tell us at which stage we get at which substrate concentration we get the maximum speed third km tell us whether the substrate is having high affinity with the enzyme or less affinity with the enzyme so came michaelis constant gave these three information to us i hope you got this lecture see you in the next video lecture thank you